Praise the Lord to all. We welcome you all for today's Sunday worship. As we look to God in prayer, let's thank Him for all that He has done in our life. For this beautiful morning that the Lord has given us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Master. Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, the King of the Kings and the Lord of Lords. Our Jehovah Jireh, our Rafa. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you do in our And Father, those who are watching online, Lord, I pray, Lord, you minister to them today. Bless them abundantly. Strengthen them, my Father. Every need of theirs, my Father. I pray that you meet every need that they have, Lord, my Father. We pray, Jesus, that they will, my Father, find their strength in you. Rejoice in you, Lord Jesus. As your word says, the joy of the Lord is my strength, O Master, my Father. We thank you for our children, my Father. We thank you for all our youth, Lord Jesus. Bless everybody, loving Father, Lord Jesus, in this time, loving Father of crisis, Lord, we, we still, loving Father, declare your name on high, loving Father, we still trust in you, Jesus, loving Father, because you are the sovereign Lord, and all authority and power and praises belongs to you, and we know that you are in control over everything, O Master, loving Father, Lord, nothing is, loving Father, gone out of your hand, O Master, everything is in your control, O Jesus, loving Father. Thank you for this wonderful time once again, Lord. We give you all the honor and glory, Master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God, friends. Welcome to God in Jesus' name. Let's sing and worship and lift up the name of Jesus. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Declare as we worship God. By faith, we need to speak the best God has for me. The best the Lord has for me. Thank you, Jesus.
so lost. In you we live and make our world be your Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, thank you, minister to us. Thank you, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. In name alone we glorify you. You are so good to us, Jesus. You are so good to us, so Father God. Thank you and we love you, Jesus. Thank you for this Sunday all around the world. Father God, there is so much of chaos and confusion. Lockdown, shutdown, glasses. The nation. This happened, you have not those brothers, man. But in the birthday, you have reserved the best for us. You have reserved the best for us. It is your father. How do we live in that? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Allah. Thank you, Jesus. Now the time. Angel Allah, they will share the scripture. Okay. Share the scripture. We pray. The children shall be blessed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
hands. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is holding us. Have faith, my brothers and sisters. <coughs> the Lord is holding us. We don't need to worry about the future, things that is going on. Just trust God. Parameshwar Kaupar Amara Parusha Hona Chaya. The Lord taking care of us. Amen. That's a beautiful. I have the word of God and the Lord speaks. It's truly a blessing. Amen. The Parameshwar Ham Se Baat Karta Hai O Bada Ashish Hota Hai. He speaks. When He speaks, there is a transformation. When the Lord speaks, his word, this, this is what, the, you know, when, when Peter, this is the confession of Peter, whom shall we go now? The words of eternal life comes from you, Lord. The words of eternal life, I get it from you, Lord. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you, hold on, these days, so many things, you know, lockdown, when you feel, when you feel irritated, upset, Maybe you may be feeling it, uh, things are not going on your way. But I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, just believe the Lord. Amen. Parmesha say, Parosha Rakana. He is taking care of us. He fed us. Completely, I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, this is what the, you know, uh, the, 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 the word of God is powerful. He fed the children of Israelites 40 years. परमेश्वर का बच्चों को चालीस साल परमेश्वर ने उनको क्या किया मरुभूमि में परमेश्वर उनको चलाया The Lord fed them. It is not the human hand. No, that, that's a beautiful. It was not the human hand. Always Moses would keep telling the children of Israel like that. Remember who led you in this vast desert. मरुभूमि में था कुछ भी नहीं है इधर नीदर दे so neither they reap, but it was the Lord who completely took care of them. Hallelujah. They lack nothing. In, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the day and night, they lack nothing in their life, my brothers and sisters. They did not lack anything in their life. God provided them everything on time. There was no breakfast was delayed. There was never a lunch was delayed. There were never the dinner was delayed. There. On time God provided them perfectly. There was no weakening among them. Koibi comes your neta. Believe the word of God, brothers and sisters. When the Lord's word, when the word of the Lord say that they lack nothing means they lack nothing. There was no. So in the sense when the Lord was leading the children of Israel in the 40 days. God was their father, God was their mother, God was the one who is providing them, God was the one who protecting them, God was the one who is fighting for them. They just need to look to God. They need to just look to God and keep walking. Trusting God. I want to tell you, the coming days, that is what going to happen in our life also, my brothers and sisters. Look to God and live. That's what we read in the book of Amos. Look to God and live. Seek the Lord and you will live, my brothers and sisters. In the driesness, in the famine time, the children of God was always protected from the plague, from the pestilence. They made Parmeshwar ka bachaloka Parmeshwar samalta. Come with me. This is the word of God that came. And they want to share with you. Book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah ka kita. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, the screen will be displayed. So today you can you can read along with me. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 12 to 18. You can keep the Bible open, or write it down, take the notes. Okay? Verse 12. Let's read verse 12. Come on. A glorious throne, a glorious throne exalted from the beginning. The glorious throne exalted from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. What a powerful word. A glorious throne is exalted from the beginning and is the place of our sanctuary. Hallelujah. A glorious throne. My brothers and sisters, that's what Jesus said. Where two or three gathers, I am 
in their midst. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you will not go outside. You will not go to office. You will not go to school. You will not go to college. You will not go to the working place. You are being shut down. You have been locked down in this just inside your house. Remember the word of God. Jeremiah says, a glorious throne is exalted from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Read it in here, this is a come on. A glorious throne is exalted in your house as you sit and listen to the word of God, as you worship God, as you have been giving, as you have been thanking God. A glorious throne is exalted. A glorious throne is exalted in our house. You know, this is what the word of God says beautifully. You know, he dwells in the praises of his people. He dwells in when we praise. You know, I want to tell you, he is not sitting on the golden throne. He is enthroned in the praises of his people. You may be you may be singing maybe off card, off beat. Let me tell you, you need to that's why we worship God. In, in, in church we worship God for one hour. The reason that we worship God exalting is enthroned. Hallelujah. In the sense when we don't worship God, when we don't exalt Him, we dethrone God. Keep worshiping God, keep praising God. Says, a glorious throne is exalted from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. Jahan hum studi parmeshwar ko aradhana karte hai, uski mahima karte hai. The throne is exalted, my brothers and sisters. The second one, come on, Lord, you are the verse 13. Lord, you are the hope of Israel. I put it like this. As we worship and lift up his holy name, 13 verse, Lord, you are the hope of India. Everybody say, you are the hope of India. As in India, we exalt your name, Lord. You are the hope of India. It says, all who forsake you will be put into shame. You are the hope of my life. You are the hope of Israel. And continue reading. It says, "Those who turn away from you will be written, written in the written in the dust, because they have forsaken the law, the spring of the living water." Parmeshwar the Lord, chhod deta. In the nomadi, you know, Parmeshwar ya cha moka niya hai. God has given a wonderful opportunity to come more close to God. I'm telling you, this is not the only phase. Of time that we are close to God, that is continuing. chalte, and let the glorious throne of God be exalted in our house. The second words, people for say, people did not put their hope. No, for nation to upper barosha, nahi rakha hai. Atme aap ke upper barosha rakha hai. I want to tell you this. This could read it in Hindi. This is a common word. Hey, Yehova, hey Israel, ki aadhar. Everybody, 
जिनका पास खाने का वस्तु है खाने के लिए शरीर नहीं है रिमेम्बर माई ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स ट्रस्ट इन द लॉर्ड ऑल दे समी से परमेश्वर का ऊपर हमेशा भरोसा परमेश्वर आपको सहायता करता जो परमेश्वर को आपको छोड़ देता है वो शर्मिंदा में रहेगा दूसरा वचन में कैसे है जो आपका ऊपर भरोसा रखा है कभी लक्षित होने नहीं देगा आप गांव में हो शहर में हो इंडिया में हो अमेरिका में हो जब परमेश्वर के ऊपर आपका भरोसा है आपका सहायता परमेश्वर से आता है समय से हाल लोहिया आपका भरोसा आपका जो है जो नहीं है परमेश्वर जानता है The way you are going through in life, जिस काम में आप चल रहे हैं शायद दुबे के लिए खाना नहीं है परमेश्वर जानता है कल के लिए कुछ नहीं है परमेश्वर जानता है यदि लॉकडाउन का बाद क्या करना है काम नहीं है पास्टर परमेश्वर जानता है परमेश्वर को ऊपर भरोसा रखे कुछ नहीं तो भी खबा कब बेच के आपके परिवार को संभालेगा समझ से चिल्ड्रन ऑफ इस कौन काम दिया Can you remember? 40 से 50 लाख लोग हैं। उनको एक बार पानी पिलाने में कितना तकलीफ होगा? परमेश्वर ने किया है। Hallelujah! उस उस मरुभूमि में परमेश्वर उनको संभाला। क्या इंडिया देश में भारत देश में आपको मुझको परमेश्वर नहीं संभालेगा? परमेश्वर हमें संभालेगा समझ से। The Lord will take care of us. Verse 30, 14. Okay. Verse 12. A glorious throne is exalted. Verse 13. Those who forsake God will be put into shame. Verse 14. This should be the cry. This is the act of scripture for us. Put the scripture here. Come on. Verse 14. Eremia Baraka 14. Everybody read. Come on. Heal me, Lord, and I will be. Healed. Save me, Lord, and I will be saved. You are the one I praise. <coughs> Hallelujah. Heal me, Lord. He really didn't hear this. Come on. Hey, Yahuwah, mujhe changa kar. Tab main changa ho jaunga. Mujhe changa kar. Main changa ho jaunga. Mujhe bacha. Mujhe bacha. Tab main bach jaunga. Main bach jaunga. I want to tell you let this be the prayer request let this be the prayer of the entire nation pura desh ka ye prarthna hona chahiye pura kalisha ka ye prarthna hona chahiye he parmeshwar mujhe changa kar aap changa karega to main changa ho jaunga you heal me then only i will be healed lord duniya mein koi bhi changa nahi kar sakta mera bhai mera baap mera bhai Nobody can save us. That's why Jeremiah would boldly stand and say, "Heal me, you heal me, I will be healed. You save me, I will be saved." Money cannot heal us, my brothers and sisters. Money cannot save us, my brothers and sisters. The healing and the salvation comes from God. You can buy, my brothers and sisters. We can buy medicine, but healing comes from the Lord. Somebody say. You can buy hospital. A poor hospital को खरीद सकता है. How many doctors are dying today? How many nurses are dying today, my brothers and sisters? I'm not there in the hospital. No, healing comes. So that's why your Jeremiah are crying. Jeremiah are rotting in front of his face. Changa kijiye, make changa ho jaunga. Read in this chapter one more time. Come on. Fourteen. Hey, Yahuwa. मुझे चंगा कर मुझे चंगा कर I want to tell you my brothers and sisters don't pray this prayer when you become a sick every day this should be our prayer somebody say before you, any sickness come we need to keep praying heal me Lord heal me Lord I do not know what kind of air I am breathing I do not know what kind of people surround me Lord the place I am going and coming I do not know even the vegetable person the milk vendor the paper distributor Lord I do not know Lord but I pray heal me I will be healed Lord save me I will be saved आप चंगा कीजिए परमेश्वर 
You may be feeling very strong, you may be have a gym body, but let me tell you, my brother, sister, we need healing. We need healing to our body, soul and spirit. We need healing to our bone. We need healing upon our skin. That nothing. We need his healing in our inhaling and exhaling. That's what here Jeremiah prayed this prayer thousands and thousands years before. You heal me, I will be healed. I'm living among the sick people, Lord. Let this, let, let's pray this prayer over our nation. Let's pray this prayer over Gandhinagar, over Andabad. Andabad needs healing, somebody said. Surat needs healing. Baroda needs healing. Rajput needs healing. Yes. Things keep increasing. Yesterday itself, close to 200 new cases in just in Ahmedabad. How sad it is. We need to cry unto God. God, heal Ahmedabad. Heal Gujarat. Heal Delhi. Heal all the state, all the nation, Lord. Only you can heal, O Lord. Then the 15th scripture, this is, they keep saying to me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it now be fulfilled. Is it not the question today people are asking, my brothers and sisters? I see so many questions coming in the Facebook. Where are the healers? Where are the pastors? I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, let us not speak the way they speak, my brothers and sisters. We speak healing. We keep speaking healing. Hallelujah. Say, sir, they keep asking to me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it be fulfilled. Where is the word of God? Let it be fulfilled. The word of God will fulfill my brothers and sisters when we pray. Verse 16, come on. Just two, two, three scriptures we pray. We can read that, okay? Come on. I have not turned away from being your shepherd. In the time of chaos and confusion, sir, the shepherd leaving the sheep and running away. But I want to tell you, Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. The good shepherd will never leave you. Somebody said, the good shepherd will never leave. In good times and bad times, he is our shepherd. But how are we, my brothers and sisters? He said, I have not run away from being your shepherd. Shepherd, be a shepherd always. Be a shepherd. In these days of lockdown, ask God, give me a heart of a shepherd. Not leaving the sheep, but taking care of the sheep. And says, you know, I have not desired the day of this man. I'm not, Lord. The last thing it says, what passes my lips is open before you. He read it in the verse 16. <coughs> I like the last line. Come on. This is, this is my lips is open before you. What passes my lips is open before you. What passes from my lips is open before you. जो मैं बोलता हूँ, जो मैं प्रार्थना करता हूँ, जो मैं प्रचार करता हूँ, परमेश्वर आपके सामने ही परमेश्वर। I just want to just give you five things, okay? In the midst of everything, the last five things, yeah. This is what you know. Psalm 23 verse says, Psalm 23 five. We read that in the midst of my enemy, in the midst of my, the Lord prepares a table. In the midst of my enemy. The five thing. Take this word as the word of prophecy over your life. What the Lord gave, I just want to give. You're going to pray. Okay? First thing. In the midst of weakness and sickness, the Lord will be your strength. And you will be strong. Put the God command. In the midst of weakness and sickness. Is there? Next, next, next. Jesus, come on. No, first one. In the midst of weakness and sickness. Yeah. In the midst of the weakness and sickness, you will be strong. 
That should be coming out of the mouth. That's what we read in the verse 16. What passes out of my lips, you know it, Lord. What you are, what you are confessing in this time, my brothers and sisters. It's beautiful. Come on. First one, first one, okay? In the midst of weakness, sickness, I will be strong. Somebody said. What is happening around us? Maybe full of weak. Maybe full of... No, no question mark. No question mark. You will be strong. In the, in the midst of weakness, in the midst of sickness, you will be strong. When something happening, when weakness things are happening, sickness things are happening, we need to confess what comes out of your mouth, my brothers and sisters. We need to say, Lord, I am strong. You have made me strong, Lord. That, that's where the word of God says, when we go weak, He makes us strong. His strength fills us. Usne parmeshwar, apne saamad se hame parta hai. The second one, go to the second one. Come on, this is the word of God. The, this is the words the God gave, okay? In the midst of losses, in the midst of losses, you will win and you will gain. Somebody say. In the midst of, there are so many losses going on, my brothers and sisters. This is what the Lord is saying. In the midst of all the, you know, losses, you will win and you will gain. You will not lose. Maybe everybody, those, those people are maybe losing job, losing their finance, losing their you know, business, losing their project. You need to know for very sure, my brothers and sisters, in the midst of losses, you will keep winning, you will keep gaining. Somebody say, Amen. You know, when, when everybody is losing, that the whole world is losing, but one person was gaining, Joseph. Hallelujah. When everybody's grain, everybody's income is going down, going down, going down. But in the side of Joseph, it will keep on increasing. It will keep on increasing. When the Lord is with us, my brothers and sisters, your bank account, your investment will not decrease. Rather, it will keep increasing. Somebody say, Amen. God will handle. That is why. Don't put your trust on yourself. Put your trust upon the Lord. In the midst of losses, you will win and you will gain. The third one. This is what that. In the midst of growing fear. In the midst of growing fear. You know, dar barte ja Aaj kuch bhi nahi badra. Lekin dar barte this is what it says, in the midst of growing fear, you will grow in faith. Somebody said, you will grow in faith. Vishwas mein bade ga. Aapka chiran mein dar nahi badna. Vishwas badna hai. You know, news dekhe ga to darao na cheese hai. What's up mein darao na cheese hai. Sabhi chaka mein se darao na cheese hathe rehta hai. Dar badta hai. Kisi se milna bhi dar hai. Koi haath milana dar hai. But Parmeshwar kehta hai, Somebody said, in these days of lockdown, these 40 days, I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, when we come out, we walk out, we walk in faith, we walk out of fear. Somebody said, Amen. When, the, when there was a mighty wind was blowing, every disciple got fear. Dariyata. They were going down to Jesus. Jesus was sleeping in the down deck. You know, they went down and they were waking up Jesus. Jesus, are you not worried? We are going to die. They all are speaking fear. They were growing fear. They come to a conclusion that we are going to die. This was me Lekin, Yesu Masih, he stood strong in the midst of the strong. He stood and he rebuked the wind and the seas. The wind come down. You will not grow in fear, but you will grow in faith. Somebody said, we need to ask God every day, Lord, I am fearful now. Kabi kabi hamara bacha lo, chila hai ko to bhi dar lagta hai. Kabi kabi bhoj shant ho gaya to bhi 
प्यार लगता है बहुत डर आता है जब वो लोग बहुत शांत रहता है तो कुछ तो गंदा काम कुछ तो गलत काम कुछ तो ये लोग करता है चिल्ड्रन बिकेम साइलेंट उनको क्या हो गया अचानक क्यों चुपचाप हो गया है लेकिन परमेश्वर आपको आशीष करेगा बी पेन है सभी जगह में पेन है सभी जगह में दुख है परमेश्वर लेकिन करता है सभी जगह में दुख है मैं तुझे आशीष करूंगा समय से Hallelujah! We need to believe, my brothers and sisters. Everybody is going through pain, but the children of God will prosper. The pain will not come to you, but God's blessing will come to you. The Lord said to Abraham, "I will bless you." Make to your ashes, do not. You know one thing: when you read the word of God, we are out of time. You know, when when Abraham's life you see, then God said, "I will bless you." There was a famine in his time. There was war in his time. There was enemies in his time. There were people who envied him, but he was still prosperous. Hallelujah! A single man, a kakeera bhakti, Philistine darta tha. Unko dekhe Philistine darta tha. The same thing happened in Isaac's time. The same thing happened in Jacob's time. Jacob became like a nation. A bada jati jaise. You know, only in Abraham time, the Bible records the number of servant in Abraham's house. After that, they could not count also. Uske baat, they could not count the servants in their house. How many servants were with Isaac? How many servants were with Jacob? There was no record. As they started to grow, they became a mighty nation, my brothers and sisters. That's what we read. That in the midst of pain, you will prosper. We need to have a faith, my brothers and sisters. Yes, the things are going painful, but in this midst of painful situation, I will prosper. Somebody say that's the word of God says. Abraham prospered. Isaac, Isaac sold in the time of famine. He prospered. Joseph prospered. There was a pain, but Joseph prospered. There was a pain in Egypt, but there was a prosperity in the place of Israel. Hallelujah! The fifth one, the last one. In the midst of full of sorrow, in the midst of full of sorrow, this is what the Lord says: You will be joyful, hopeful, peaceful. Somebody said, "Come on!" In the midst of sorrowful, in dukh ke samay mein, three things Parmeshwar karta hai. You will be joyful, hopeful, you love. Full of peace. Believe the Lord, my brothers and sisters. You know this is what that when Mordecai, when Mordecai, when everybody wanted to do sorrow to him. You read the word of God in the book of Esther. My brothers and sisters, he was honored. They were trying to do sorrow. They were planning to make some sorrow to Mordecai's life, but the 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 the, the Man, the community which wanted to destroy his people, before all of them, God exalts Mordecai. Hallelujah! Haman could not do anything. Esther did not do anything. God blessed Mordecai. Somebody said, Hallelujah! He was clothed. He was clothed with. God's glory. He was clothed with king's cloth, with the king's horse. He was praising. Take him. No king was saying to Haman, "Take Mordecai. This is what will be done to a man who honors God." Hallelujah! In the midst of sorrow, in the midst of full of sorrow, Mordecai was walking joyful, hopeful, peaceful. His enemy. Who wanted to do sorrow to Mordecai? At last, they became sorrow. The same thing we see in the book of Daniel about Daniel also. They wanted to throw him, put him. I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, when he was thrown inside the lion's den, he was hopeful, he was peaceful, he was joyful. 
They were all trying to do sorrowful things, but nothing could touch them. Somebody said, that's what the faith we need to have, my brothers and sisters. That's what we read in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 12. A glorious throne. In these times of COVID-19, let there be a glorious throne exalted in our house, which will be the sanctuary. Somebody say, Amen. A glorious throne is exalted. When you are in the car, when you go in the office, sisters, when you cook, maybe when you wash your clothes, have this one glorious throne is exalted. My house has become a sanctuary. Can you put the scripture? Let me come on. Chapter 17, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 12. A glorious, come on, a glorious throne exalted from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay, in the place of our sanctuary, your house to become a sanctuary. Keep praising. That's what keep I say. In your house, put some songs. Keep singing song. Now your house is the house of God. Now your house is the church. You are worshiping and thanking God. I, the, the, the fine thing, as I said, in the midst of weakness, you will be stronger. In the midst of losses, you will gain and win. In the midst of growing fear, you will grow in faith. In the midst of pain, you will prosper. In the midst of full of sorrow, you will be hopeful, you will be joyful, you will be peaceful. Hallelujah. So, I want you to be blessed with the word of God. The last one scripture. Come on. This is what Jeremiah chapter Jeremiah 17 verse 18. Let's read it. Book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 18. Let my, come on read, let my persecutor be put to shame. But keep me from shame. Let them be terrified. Let them be from, let keep me from terror. I put these five things from this one only. Read one more time. Come on. Let my persecutor be put to shame. But keep me from shame. Let them be terrified. But keep me from terror. Bring on them the day of disaster. Destroy them with double destruction. Jeremiah, painfully, when people are doing everything against him, he is called the weeping prophet. He spoke the word of God, but people rose against him. This is the cry he is crying. You know, verse 17, come on, do come on, verse 17, chapter 17, verse 17. Do not be terror to me. This is the prayer we need to pray. Come on, last one we pray after this. Chapter 17, verse 17. Come on, do not be terror to me. You are my refuge in the days of disaster. I'm coming under your refuge, your Lord. Is that correct? Okay, come on. Do not be terror to me. You are my refuge in the day of disaster. Whatever is happening outside, I want to tell you, you are under a perfect refuge. Shall we close our eyes? Look to God in prayer. Come on, keep on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, you are my refuge, your Lord. You are my strength, O oh Lord. You are my hope, O oh Lord. You are my everything, Jesus. You are my all in all, O oh Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on. Let's not look around. Don't bring outside inside. As the end of this one, I want to tell you, don't bring outside thing inside. Outside words inside. From inside, let it go outside. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Jo under hai, wo bahar jane. Jo under, aapka jo viswas, jo ashish, as he said the five things, you know, jo, that strong, the strength in you, let be outside. Let the wind and gain in you be outside. Let the faith in you come outside. The prosperous blessing that's in you come outside. Let the joyful, hopeful, peaceful come outside. Let, pe let people see the goodness of God in our life. Thank you, Jesus.
we pray for them also. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, hallelujah. In oneness, wherever you are, you can hold the person next to you, your husband, wife, your hands, your sons, your daughters, your brother, your sister's hand, pray one another. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. As we read from the scripture, so powerful. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 17, verse 18. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, Lord, don't, I don't want to be in terror or terrified, Lord. Help me, Lord. Come on, I don't want to live. Free me. Freedom me to spray, Lord. I am a deskele kapna karega. Let's pray for India. Our deskele kapna karega. Hallelujah, Lord. Bless India, Lord. Bless India, Lord. Bless Gujarat. Bless Gandhinagar. Hallelujah. Your blessing we speak over our nation of Father God. Lord, you alone can bless. You alone can do something, Lord. Hallelujah. Aap bade, the sarach is katna hai parnish. The sarach is katna hai parnish. It should not continue, Lord. Come on, pray. We disconnect from all these things, O Lord. Let our India disconnect from this COVID-19, O Lord. Let it be removed from our nation. Jesus, have mercy. As we read from Jeremiah 17, verse 14, that Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, Lord, and I shall be saved. And I'll give you the praise, O Lord. Heal our nation. But we pray today, we praise you and we praise you. You will heal and you will save and you will bless your oh God. Thank you, Jesus. We especially pray for Lord Ahmedabad. God, it's been terribly infected. Heal oh God. Every infected, those who are in the hospital, we pray for the doctors, nurses, where they touch them. Jesus, you touch them, Jesus. You touch them, Jesus. You heal them, Jesus. You bless, we pray for our police force. Lord, we pray for the NGOs, feeding the poor, helping. Lord, everyone who is engaged in the front line. God, your protection, we pray. As we hear from the news, there are many doctors, none of the whole entire Lord, the hospital is infected. We pray, Jesus, you heal of God. Even we pray in the Bible Church, all our nurses, we pray for Sneha, we pray for Neelan Sister. God, we pray in the name of Jesus, Sister Shannon. God, we pray for Esme Sister, we pray for Robert, we pray for Hallelujah, Jiva Sister. Lord, as they engage in the front line, oh Lord, Jesus, we pray for Dolly Sister, Nishan, Hallelujah. We pray and speak your blessing, oh Lord. Not those who are helping, working, oh Lord. They need to go to office and come, oh Lord. Lord, the rat worker, bless and heal, protect me, speak the blood of Jesus, cover up your children. Jesus, we pray for the Johns, hallelujah, and all those who are working in the hospitals. Jesus, bless them, protect them. This nation, we heal and bless them. God, we release your blessing. All those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary, especially we release your blessing upon Manoah, Stephen, and Stranita, and Moi, the family of Papa, bless them. We thank you, Jesus, for Hallelujah, Charles, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for Dustin, Sister, Tiana, bless them. Thank you for blessing them, bless them. We pray for Harish Pai as we celebrate his birthday, we release your blessing. Bless them, Father. Thank you, and we love everyone who listen, watching, watched and going to watch. Bless them, Jesus. We are safe, sound, protected, blessed, healed, strong, prosperous, growing in faith. Hallelujah. Growing in your grace, growing in your anointing, growing in your word. You are more than enough for us, O God. Bless your children. We give you all the glory, honor to you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's let the hand you go with the blessing of God. Now may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. May His light shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Heal you, help you. Growing stronger in the grace, in the faith, in the strength of God. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our Heavenly Father, the sweet coming of the Holy Spirit of God, be with us, protecting us, Preserving us, providing us to hear return or we return. Now our children say, 
The fifth one, in the midst of full of sorrow, you will be full of joyful, hopeful, and peaceful. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Amen. Thank you.